Okay, I hope I'm recording. I have, I never know when it starts to record and when it doesn't. So I definitely need to take a look into that and how to work on my videos, adjust my videos, cut my videos. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to make this, well, first of all, I'm so sorry. I, we're getting ready to. Uh, go to meet my husband's aunt for lunch, so uh, I'm going to be traveling around 60 miles. Uh, so I just I just washed my hair. That's why it's still wet. And I don't I don't like drying my hair. I don't know. I just don't like that. Um, so yeah, what I want to talk about is yesterday, as a matter of fact, um, something happened to me, and it's not the first time that this has happened to me. And it's about uh, my co pickers um, that are not always the nicest. I have met a lot of nice pickers, a lot of nice people that are just doing the same things that I'm doing. They're um, going to thrift stores, going to garage sales, going to estate sales and buying things that they find cool and or, or, or not. Um, but they can make a profit on and uh, some of them I've made, I've, I've met, and we actually met again, and we had dinners together, and we are almost friends. And, and some of them are not. They're, they're just not nice people. And uh, yesterday I was, uh, I went to an estate sale, and this was this huge house. I actually looked it up on Zillow afterwards because I was I was curious about it. It was for sale. Um, I don't really know what happened. If somebody passed or divorced or whatever, uh, and it's, it was this huge property, 5,500 square feet, absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, the house was full of stuff, full packed. A lot of high-end items um, and really, really a lot to pick from. So I ended up spending um, with my husband um, close to three hundred dollars in there. But we got a lot of stuff. And um, anyway, while I was in there, I um, I went to pay for the items that I had purchased and while I was paying this this woman that I had seen before that I recognized starts yelling at me apparently she thought that I was buying something that she had already negotiated for and she had wanted um, at first I thought okay you're being paranoid I'm just going to, you know, I, I'm not interested in, I have no idea what she, what she wanted. Nothing, it turned out nothing from what I had bought. And then I thought, you know what, this has actually happened to me before, that people were, um, it's actually happened to me that I went to a garage sale and I was negotiating with somebody and somebody just came from behind and offered them more or um, just, grabbed the item from my hands basically and um I basically I don't know how to react to this. The last time this has happened to me I basically told him that it was a guy. Um not that not that I you know, guys are okay. Um but I basically told him, well, if, if you want this item, you're going to have to get it over my dead body. It's in my hands, and short of beating me up, I don't know what you're going to do. But I don't like... I don't like being verbally aggressive or being... and I, I But I certainly don't like being verbally abused either. And, and he was. He was verbally very abusive to me. Um... So, I guess what I was, so I understood why she she had that reaction and why she thought that I was going to get something she wanted. 
um, it, it happens enough that people become like that and uh, I just I, I don't know why because there is as I said that this house was absolutely packed and full and there was so many things and there was plenty for everybody so there's absolutely no need for this competition and it's it's not even it's not even competition it's beyond that oh my god I see something you want something so I want it okay it, it's it's good and fine for example on an auction on eBay please go ahead and do that but it's completely unnecessary there's there's nothing that would be worth it to me at least getting into a fight over even a verbal argument I, I would try to avoid that so yeah if you're out there and picking and, and this is something Angie Martin used to say or she still says it in her videos uh, uh, what did you say what do you say Angie be gentle picking or something like that be nice and that's what I basically want to say just just be nice just I don't know I don't really believe in oh put out positive out there and you'll get okay not that far but just just be nice that's that's all that there's there's so many things out there there's so many things to pick and to make money on and there's absolutely no need no need to be rude so because yeah in, in, in the end of the day if you're rude to me I'm gonna be rude to you and I don't want that I do not want to be rude at. I'm positive people in my life and I want to be positive and I want to put positive in other people's lives so there's 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 plenty negative out there that we don't need to add to that so yeah let me know if you've had uh, similar similar stuff happening to you and by all means tell me how do you deal with it how how do you handle people that are just negative and just just dabby downers I don't know I don't even know what to call them it's it's that bad so yeah anyway um let me know I would love to hear how you handle it and um what you have been picking, where you've been picking this past weekend, or if you still are going to garage sales, maybe in your area there was no garage sales, but down here in Florida there's garage sales uh, all year long, so uh, we, we're blessed in, in regards to that. Alrighty, talk to you later.